Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And the intern put in a two week notice recently and I really don't want him to leave. He keeps on avoiding me. be trying some parenting hacks from the video 28 parenting hacks from crafty moms and dads tips for being friends with your child by five minute crafts guys if this doesn't work i don't know what will <sighs> okay guys so i think one of the reasons the intern wants to leave is because i was making work up in the scary hot attic and i could understand why that wouldn't be so fun so i'm gonna go up there and tell him he doesn't have to work up there anymore oh yeah it's taking a trip into my deep dark spooky attic oh, oh hey intern hey how you doing buddy Every Everything okay? No, no, not that good, dude. I think something bit me up here. What? Oh. Yeah, on my forehead. What the heck? Oh my god! You have an eye growing out of your forehead! Yeah, but dude, it just freaking hurts. Okay, intern, I think I have the perfect solution. I'll be right back, okay? So, your little intern comes to you and they're like, Ow, I got a boo-boo! So you're like, oh, I'm just gonna put a little band-aid on it. And they keep resisting. No! No! I don't want the band-aid, mummy! So what you're gonna wanna do is draw some animals on them. Fun fact, interns absolutely love animals. So, if you draw animals on their band Band-aids will be like, oh, this is so cute. I would love to have this on me. And they'll totally go for it. It works every time. Watch. Okay, guys, so here are our band-aids. I'm gonna start off with one, and I think we're gonna try and keep it simple and do the turtle first. So we start off with the, the round shell, then we do the hexagonal patterns. Then we draw his little legs, his little turtle head, and then we fill in the color. I'm gonna make this a purple turtle with maybe some blue spots on his shell and a little red head. Oh no, the shell got a little messed up, but it's okay. Now we're just gonna let this bad boy dry and uh, we'll see how the intern likes it. Okay, intern, I made you this really cool band-aid. It has a turtle on it and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. Yeah, just cover it up, put it on your forehead. It'll look fantastic. Here you go, intern. Yeah, just put it, just stick it right on there. There you go. How's that? Do you think that'll work? No, I think this looks ridiculous, man. Like this is dumb. Like it looks stupid. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go make you something really quick. Oh, okay, intern. I am back. I cut off the sleeves on my Pizza Pixel shirt, my favorite shirt, as you know, and I made us matching headbands. Oh yo, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, you have this awesome matching headband with me. Oh. You look fantastic in it. Now we have matching headbands. Oh dude, thanks. Dude, I can't believe you and I are the only people who have these. No, actually. Actually, I put them on my merch store. If you guys want one of these, you can click the link down description down below to go buy my merch and get yourself a headband. Did you really only do this as a merch plug? Like, is this not actually about me, Robbie? No. Uh, like, dude, I got bit and you're just plugging your merch right now. Anyway, okay, uh, okay, I gotta go. Uh, I'll see you later, intern. Have a good one, buddy. Uh, you should get out of, the, out of the attic. It's really hot up here. Yeah, uh, maybe I will. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. So you set up a play date with your friend's intern and your little intern, and they're not really getting along too well. They're fighting over their toys, and they come to you and they're screaming, and they're like, oh, they did this, they did that, they punched me. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab an extra large shirt and write best friends. And then you put them together and then put the shirt right over them. And now they're forced to like each other and problem solved. This would definitely never escalate a situation. If Five Minute Craft says it'll work, I bet that this is a great solution for the intern. Okay guys, so here is our extra extra large t-shirt don't need this sticker anymore ah! anyway I'm gonna grab this cutting board and put it inside of the shirt this is gonna do two things it's gonna make sure my shirt is nice and straight and stretched out so when I draw on it it's not gonna be too hard and also it's gonna prevent the ink from spilling over to the other side of the t-shirt now I don't really need the best friends backward on my t-shirt so that's why we're doing this now in my best incredibly tidy handwriting I'm just gonna write the best of friends. Drawing on a t-shirt has always been not one of my strong suits, so I'm sorry in advance. Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our cutting board. Let's try this out with the intern. Oh, hey intern, how's it going, buddy? Bruh. What do you want? I got you the shirt to prove that we are the best of friends. You got me a shirt? Yeah, I got you a shirt. Here, try it on. Yeah, try really just a... Uh, Jesus. Don't do that anymore. Oh, boy. Yeah, isn't that a really cool shirt? I mean, it looks like it was drawn on by a child. What? You, that's my handwriting. Oh, wait, you're wearing it wrong. Can you take your arm out of the sleeve really quick? Robbie, it's a little too big. Yeah, it's because I'm supposed oh, to go in with you. What are you doing? Robbie! Yeah, Robbie! I'm dude, supposed to go... Give him some personal space! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Bro! We are one now! I don't wanna be one, dude! Look, intern! We are the best of friends now, and we can uh, skip around and dance and prance. Uh, Here, let's play the Not My Arms Challenge. I don't know, what kind of challenge can we play right now? We could play the Get Out of the T-Shirt Challenge. No! Um, let's try and fold a paper airplane really quick. Okay, okay, okay. We could okay, do... Well, uh, oh, okay, intern, so we are gonna be doing the Make a Paper Airplane Challenge. Ravi, I would much rather have my personal space right now. Personal space, personal mace. So here, uh, you're gonna have your right hand and I'm gonna use my left hand and we're gonna try and make ourselves a paper airplane. So here, first things first, we're gonna wanna fold it in half here. You wanna fold it over my side? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Fold it in half, buddy. Good job. See? Okay, you know what to do next? No, not really. Actually. Okay, so uh, you're basically, here, grab that part. Thank you so much. So uh, we're gonna want to take this and then fold it just like that. Like oh, this. no, no, th like that on the other side. Oh, like this. Yeah, like so this. we're both gonna want to do that. Maybe not at the same time. I guess we can at the same time. It's working out fine. We're both pretty good with our hands here, aren't we? Dude, don't say weird things. Okay, so here's the next one. Now you fold it again. Can you help me actually fold this one? This one's a bit of a, a, a tougher fold. Like this? Oh, yeah, like that. And you crease it. We're a little bit off here, buddy. Like, no, you're too much, too much. There, there you go. Yeah, perfect. Looks good. Can you crease it right there? Just go. There you go. Yeah, just like that, you go. Okay, now I'll, I'll help you fold this one. I'll fold this side. You're doing great. Now do that on your side. Crease it down. And then we flip it over. Fold in that guy. There you go. There we go. See? Teamwork. We built an airplane in turn. This is a really crappy plane. But we did it together, and it's. I think it turned out fantastic. Do you want to throw it? Uh, I really have work I need to do, Robbie. Um, here, I'll just let you. Here, let's try it. Uh, let's see. Let's have you throw it really quick. You want me to throw it? Yeah, throw it. Okay. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one absolutely works. I've never felt closer to the intern in my life. Yeah, me neither. I'll see you later. Oh, oh. oh intern. Oh, what are you doing? You're organizing all my stuff in my beauty corner? This is great. Thank you so much. What do you need, Robbie? I figured since you love touching my makeup so much, I decided to make you your very own makeup. How does that sound? Um, okay. I don't know. It's a little weird. Okay, perfect. I'll be right back with your makeup. Uh, stay here. Keep doing what you're doing. Doing fantastic, buddy. Uh, please don't quit. Uh, stay here. Okay, uh, bye. Just grab a bit of coconut oil. Chocolate drops? Why are they red? I don't know why the chocolate drops are red. You grab your chocolate drops, melt it over a candle fire, and then put it into a lipstick tube. Let it cool down for a bit, and boom! You got yourself an edible lipstick tube. Never gotta worry about your little intern eating your lipstick ever again. And if they do, at least this one's just made out of coconut and chocolate. Okay guys, so here's our lipstick tube. As you can see, there's still a bit of lipstick in it, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that out really quick. Oh. Mm. You know, the intern's not allowed to eat this, but I am and it tastes great. And now that we have our empty lipstick tube, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way back down. Then we're gonna break out our chips and our coconut oil. Put a couple of these chips in a metal spoon, along with a little bit of our coconut oil. Boopity boop. Oh, that's way too much. And now we melt it all down. I feel like there has to be a more convenient way to do this. I need a bigger blowtorch. Here we go, this one's a little better. Here we go. It's trying to burn the chocolate a little bit, but it smells fantastic. Oh yes, nothing like some molten chocolate to really wake you up in the morning. All the coconut oil and the white chocolate is just caramelizing together, and it's just making this beautiful smell. It almost looks like marshmallows. Oh yes, this looks fantastic. And now it's time to put our molten concoction that's still on fire into our toothpaste tube. Be really careful with this. I actually would not do this at home personally. Um, it's not coming out. So I'm just gonna shove it right into our tube. This is working swimmingly. I'm just gonna get a little toothpick and push it all in there. I'm hoping this will work. They didn't do this in the video, but you know, I'm a little desperate here. Just gather all the stuff back into your toothpaste tube. Absolutely great, this looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and uh, we'll see how it turns out. 
A few moments later. Hey intern, I'm back with your makeup. I've made you some lipstick. I know that you absolutely love lipstick and you love makeup, so as you can see, it turned out really good. It looks absolutely delicious and I want you to try it. Robbie, this looks rotten. It smells like it's burnt. <laughs> no, I'm not trying that. Why would I put that on my Here, face? I'll try it instead. It's chocolate and, uh, and coconut oil and everything that a little intern could ever want. It looks really delicious. Ooh. Mm. That's gross. Ow, it hurts my lips. And the best part about this this lipstick in turn is you can eat it. Holy Jesus. You're freaking gross, bro. Are you going insane? Why are you eating lipstick? Pretty tasty. You want to try some? No. Here, Dude, try some of this lipstick. Gross. I'm not. Just try a little bite. Just I'm a little not. macaroni on these lips. <laughs> your, your lips need to be voluptuous. Come on, intern. No, try it. No, stop. All right, all right. It's good. It's good. Just, just, there you go. See? Just put it all over it's your face. gross. That's going to taste really no. nice. Why does it hurt? Chocolate. It's so hard. I told you. Dude, literally stop. Stop. It's burnt chocolate. Stop. Dude, you're gross. Take a little bite. I get One little bite. Now tell me that's actually that bad. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. That's delicious, dude. Mm. Oh, how's it going, intern? What you doing there? Your taxes, like you told me to do. Oh, uh, oops, I forgot. Um, wait, is that is that a phone? Why? What's that? Yeah, it's my iPhone. I'm using the calculator app. Intern, uh, growing up, they always told me you can't just carry a calculator in your pocket wherever you go. And I have that same belief, and I think that you should just uh. Yeah, you don't need that anymore. Um, I made you something even better. You're gonna absolutely love it. Are you just having a terrible time learning math? Just a super hard time? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is get some used drinking cups and you're gonna wanna write a bunch of numbers on them and then you get another used drinking cup and then boom, you can now practice multiplication, subtraction. I don't really know how this works as a calculator. <laughs> Okay guys, so here are our cups. We have four of them. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna have to do is write some numbers. And then we do a plus and a minus. Then we do some more numbers. And we add an equal sign. And on our last cup, we just add even more numbers. And there we go. Let's try it ourselves. One. Minus 13 equals 12. Oh my gosh, how did this thing know? Okay, let's see if this improves the intern's math skills. So I made you this um, cup calculator. It works extremely well. Here you go. What? Dude, just try it. Just this try isn't it. a phone. This is ridiculous. What do you mean? It's a calculator nonetheless. 12 plus 14 equals 9? That's how correct, isn't it? <laughs> no. 14 plus 14 equals equals what? What's next? Fish? There isn't even one here. It's 2, 3, 4. Where's the one? Dude. <laughs> In turn, look, I don't know. I, just, I was just following the craft. If you're saying it didn't work, I trust your judgment, okay? This one absolutely... It doesn't work, okay? I'm just as upset as you are. Yeah, could you buy me a new phone? No. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go in turn. I'm testing some of these crafts Bro, today. I'm not gonna be able to get this done. Hey. Oh, yes. Here we are. A young intern. How you doing there, buddy? What are you sucking on? A lollipop. Bro. Nice, thank you. Bro, why'd you take it from me? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this little girl keeps dropping her banking on the floor. Ew, is that hair? <laughs> so what you're gonna wanna do is grab a helium balloon and attach your binky straight to it. That way, when they drop it, instead of dropping it, it just goes whoo. There we go. And it'll never be on the floor again. I just really hope that you don't have vaulted ceilings. Okay, guys, so here is our lollipop. And the first thing I'm gonna do is vice it down. Oh, yes. That thing's not going anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a string onto it, just like this. Perfect. Maybe even add a little bow. You know, it's not my best work, but it'll do. Then I go ahead and snip the end. Oh. Then we grab our helium tank, blow up our balloon. Oh, wow. Okay. That's too much helium there. And then we carefully tie the ribbon onto it. Okay, here we go. All good, nice and secure. Now I need to unvice my lollipop. Are you guys ready for the big test? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let go of the balloon. I think I might need a bigger balloon because uh, the ribbon is too heavy for this one.
do you get this much helium out of this big of a tank? I'll never understand. This is our original balloon, and this is our new one. I think uh, this should fix the problem. I'll even add it to the other balloon. There we go. Now I'm going to drop the balloon. <gasps> now drop the lollipop. Oh my gosh, it works! It's just floating here. This is the ultimate plan. Okay, now let's go try this out on the intern. What up, intern? I brought you back your lollipop. It's better than ever. It has a string attached to it that ominously goes to the sky. I don't trust what you did to this lollipop, Robbie. Nah, dude, I'm gonna rinse it off real quick. I didn't do a single bad thing to it. I just made it better in every single way. I there you go, see? It, it pulls you up a little bit. Now, if you decide to spit it out, it does a magical thing. See? Now, if you ever want your lollipop again, you just reach up, and there you go. You'll never drop your lollipop ever again. Wow. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Get it, intern, get it. There you go! Wasn't this a great idea? I hate you. Okay, uh, I'll see you later, everyone. Uh, have fun cleaning, I guess. Ah! Oh my god! Intern, are you okay? <laughs> oh, what happened, bro? I didn't expect that to pop. Yeah. What did it pop on? I don't know what it is. Screws! <laughs> Intern, I need you to fix all these screws. No! Oh, it's 432, and you guys know what that means. Hello, is anyone in the bathroom? Oh, hey, Robbie. Uh, oh, hey, intern. Uh, sorry, did I disturb you? You can continue your shower if you need to. No, it's okay. I was just getting out of the bath. Okay, okay. Uh, sweet. Okay. Guys, the intern left all of his toys in the bath again! Well, maybe if I clean it up, he'll appreciate me and he'll want to stay. I actually know the perfect hack for this. Take it away, Robbie. So you wrap them up after they get out of the bath, and then you go to clean up their toys, and what do you do? You grab a big basket? Oh, you just scoop all the toys up. Wow, that's fantastic. What an easy life hack. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a laundry basket. And luckily, I have one right here. And then we're gonna simply take our laundry basket and just scoop up all of the intern's toys. There we go. There you go, intern. I'm just gonna take our laundry basket and just casually pick up all the intern's toys. This would be a lot easier if it wasn't one-handed. I might as well just... Ugh. This is the intern's bath water! I was really trying to avoid this. Ugh. Okay. Disgusting. Ugh. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Huh? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my god, I have to stop the water. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, I just had the perfect idea. Guys, if you wanna buy any of the intern's bath water, I'm selling it for only $20 a bottle. Oh my god, what can I put it in? Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to pour some of the Tori Bransky's makeup stuff out. It's only 20 bucks a bottle. You can buy it down in the description down below. You guys will absolutely love it. Intern bath water. Order now. You can also buy Pizza Pixels shirts on my store. Uh, down description down below. Anyway, uh, let's go see what the next life hack is. So your little intern is playing with all of his toys, but he doesn't put them away. And he's slip on one of the cars. How ridiculous. So what you're gonna want to do is grab some hot glue and one of their little cars and glue them to the bottom of a bin. And now you got yourself a portable toy bin. Wow, they can just dump it out and play with the bin. <laughs> Don't need those darn toys anymore. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a toy box or something like that. Uh, <gasps> I have an idea. Oh, what's up intern? I need Bro. to borrow this really quick. Bro. Thank you so much. Bro, come I'll be right on, back. Okay. Here we go. I actually found this furniture mover at the dump the other day, and I can just put it right underneath my chest. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh! And there we go. And now, the chest is on casters. I have the perfect plan. I'm gonna take out all the clothes. Just really pretend like I filmed a crazy craft and I had to make a crazy mess. The intern loves picking up my messes. It really is his favorite activity, trust me. And I know he's gonna be absolutely ecstatic when he sees this one. <laughs> Remember when I wore this all the time? <laughs> oh, I completely forgot we had Peace Love Wi-Fi beanies available. <laughs> Another thing in my merch store, I guess. Anyway. 
There we go. Looks good. The chest is nice and clear. We're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this around a little bit. That way the intern can really use this craft. And now if he wants to put all my stuff away, he can just roll this chest around. There we go. I don't wanna put away too much because I need to leave that for the intern. Let's see how he feels about the new portable chest. Oh, hey intern. So I know how you absolutely adore picking up after me. So I made a whole new mess that you can pick up right now. Yeah, because this is why I have my associate's degree. <laughs> Clean up after you, Ravi. Thanks for noticing. Anyway, come on, intern, check it out. It's this nice big mess, and I even put the chest on caster, so now you can roll the chest around all you want, and it's really easy to pick up the mess now, see? Wow, thank you, Ravi. You're so considerate. No problem, buddy. Thanks for cleaning up. I know you really enjoy this job, and uh, this is your favorite part. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. You're doing a great job there, buddy. I hope. Hey guys, it's been about 15 minutes since I've seen the intern. How you doing there, buddy? Hey bud, oh, I'm good. Just moving this concrete in. Oh my gosh, intern, you scuffed your boots from moving the concrete. I'm so sorry, dude. This is all my fault. Yeah, it is, really is. It's okay, I'll make it up to you. I have the perfect life hack, I'll be right back. So you're going outside and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a nick in your boots. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a crayon pencil and just draw over it and boom, it is now a fixed boot. Good as new, don't need to buy new boots. Your friend's parents will not make fun of you because your shoes are messed up and call you poor. Let's see if this one works. So we just go ahead and grab our crayons. Uh-huh. Okay, now that we have our crayons, I'm just gonna select, oh wow, the black even popped out, that's perfect. Oh, intern, I have the perfect solution to your scuffed boot. Yeah, what is it? It's this crayon, it's the perfect solution. I'm just gonna draw on your boot and you'll never notice that scuff ever again. Sounds good. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna be a professional boot draw honor. It seems to be working in turn. This looks fantastic. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to work. I'm just waxing your boot and not only is it uh, scuff resistant now, it's also water resistant. So this is what it looked like before and this is after. So I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Yeah, it does. Thanks, man. Enjoy your unscuffed boot in turn. Hey guys, I think the intern's a little cranky wanky, so I'm gonna get him a little snacky wacky, you understand? So go over to my little fridge and the only thing I have is Light yogurt, okay. Hey intern, how you doing there, little guy? Uh, you want some yogurt? Sure, uh, I don't have anything to eat this with though. Oh, uh, my bad, here, I'll be right back, I'll get you something. Guys, I have the perfect hack for this one. So your little intern is just getting so messy with some yogurt, and you're like, there has to be a better way. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a straw and just poke it straight into your yogurt, and boom, they can just suck it out with a straw. It's the perfect solution, you're never gonna have a mess again. Just throw away the entire thing when you're done. Don't even worry about it. You're good. Let's see if this actually works though. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our straw. Boobity boop. Perfect. Hey intern, can you hold this for me? Perfect. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is just, there you go. It's a perfect way to consume your yogurt. It's a strawberry. You yeah. know I love how much I like strawberry. I do. I really hope it's not expired. How is it intern? It's good, but is this like, Lactose free because I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, little Tiffy says he can eat frozen yogurt. Do not believe it. Oh, yeah, totally. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Not only is it expired, he's also lactose intolerant. Oh my god, I messed up. Robbie, I'm right here. <gasps> Okay, Darren, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna take that back. I'll get you another snack. I'll be, uh, have a good day. Okay, guys, so I know that the intern absolutely loves snacks, and he always looks at mine, and he gets so jealous. And I have this big old box of Domino's brownies, but I really don't want to share them with him today, okay? And that's why I have the perfect plan. So you're eating chocolate, and all of a sudden, your kid comes out, and they're like, I want chocolate? What the heck's my chocolate? And you're like, I can't be given you this chocolate. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to in and out and you're gonna lettuce wrap that bad boy. Boom! Killing two birds with one stone. Your kid will never eat this. And also, you're eating healthy. Look, there's lettuce wrapped around it. It's kind of healthy, okay? Even though that lettuce is like 90% water. <laughs> I'm just gonna take these delicious brownies that I have left and hide them in my turtle's food. I don't think the intern would wanna eat this at all. He's not really a salad kind of guy. So here we go. Just put the brownies right in my Tupperware container, right at the bottom. Then I put my turtle's food straight over it. And there we go. It is hidden from the intern. Let's go try this out. Oh yes, you're just being a good little intern and working and doing your thing. Don't mind me, I'm just having a nice delicious lunch. Don't worry about me, intern. Bro, that salad's hard. 
Yeah, you wouldn't want this salad. It's pretty disgusting. They have these weird brown croutons, not good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seems a little burnt. No, this is, they overcooked my salad by a lot. That sucks. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. The intern didn't suspect a thing. Probably what works? Uh, nothing. I'll see you later, intern. So you have a nosy little intern, and they're just going through all your stuff, and they find your secret stash. Oh, those are my snacks. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab a shoehorn and just use it to block all your drawers, and now they can no longer access your secret stash. Let's see if this one works. Okay guys, so I don't really own a shoehorn, and I don't really have a drawer that I could shove a shoehorn in like that, but I do have this door that I don't want the intern to go out of, and leave forever after he quits. And also these boards, so I guess I'll just board up this door so he can never leave. It's honestly the perfect plan. Oh, uh, here we go. And one more for good measure. This ought to do it. That ought to do it. No little interns can escape now. Okay, guys, so it's about 6.30 p.m. Uh, that means that the intern is about to clock out and leave any minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide this camera here so the intern can't see it. We'll see if this one works. I'll go ahead and hide down here, too. Bro. Dude. Robbie. Bro. Don't worry, intern. Now you can never leave. You'll never leave me again. I don't want you to leave, intern. I don't uh, want you to resign. I'm gonna be late for my vacation, bro. Get me out of here. Wait, what do you wait, 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 what do you mean vacation? You said you were gonna leave in two weeks. You said you need a two-week resignation. No, I, I put in my two-week notice for my vacation, not my resignation. Oh! My gosh, this all makes so much sense. No, dude, I'm serious, bro. <laughs> you said that you needed two weeks for your vacation, not two weeks for your resignation. Yeah, no, I, I can't afford to lose my job right now, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, but I, like, I can't afford to lose my vacation either, Robbie. Wait, so you haven't been ignoring me all day? No, I was getting ahead of my work for the next two weeks. Oh my gosh, intern, I am so sorry. I, I'll let you go for your vacation, okay, no, buddy? Dude, I'm just gonna leave, dude. Just what? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll see you later. Um, just see yourself, just see yourself out that door. Uh, well, I'll see you later. Guess I, ugh. Oh man, now I gotta clean this up myself! Or I guess I could always take the doggy door too. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Let's this fight right down there. I make videos every single Saturday, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to check out my last video and subscribe to Robbie Clips and Robbie Reacts. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Are we ending? Okay, bye. Ah!